Ayurveda, a word usually misunderstood as a branch of medicine, is in fact a much broader study of life itself. It is a combination of two Sanskrit words Ayuhu meaning life and Veda meaning knowledge. In this video, we are going to look at the sages who pioneered this science, various books written by them and the chapters they cover. Before we get into the topic, I'd like to thank you for your interest in Sanskrit exploration. Please consider subscribing to this channel where we explore the hidden secrets of Sanskrit language across a wide variety of topics ranging from astronomy and algebra to rituals and spirituality. Getting back into the topic, there were many great sages of the past who delved into the science of life. Charaka, Sushruta, Vagbhata, Madhava and Sharangadhara were some of them. I mention these names because their works in Sanskrit are still available to this day and are easily accessible if only one has the knowledge of Sanskrit. These books are used even today as guiding textbooks for all Ayurvedic programs across the world. Let's look at some of these textbooks and the contents that they cover. The first of these is Acharya Charaka's Charaka Samhita. With over 8400 shlokas that are rhythmic and are easy to memorize, Charaka Samhita is divided into 8 sections with a total of 120 chapters. Charaka Samhita is extremely detailed with causes of various diseases, how to identify them, how to find and make appropriate medication, and various ways of applying it. It describes embryology and anatomy of both humans and animals. People today will be surprised to know that this book has a dedicated chapter on alcoholism, various properties of alcohol, and even guidance on how to get high without a hangover. Then there is Sushruta Samhita written by Acharya Sushruta. Acharya Sushruta is considered to be a pioneer of surgical methods. There are verses describing how to treat accidents to the nose with skin taken from thigh grafts. There are also verses that describe how to get trained with surgery on various vegetables, leather bags and dead animals before performing surgery on humans. Sushruta Samhita has over 7000 shlokas divided into 186 chapters with descriptions of over a thousand different diseases 700 and odd medicinal plants and more than a hundred different Ayurvedic medical preparations. Ashtanga Hridaya, written by Vagbhata, is still the reference book for hundreds of Ayurvedic medicines that are still being used to cure various types of illnesses. If you look closely on any of the Ayurvedic medicine bottles, you'll find their source textbook mentioned on them. There are many more textbooks by other eminent authors that serve as user manuals on how to conduct life at various levels. Some of them are Sharangadhara Samhita, Madhava Nidana, Kashyapa Samhita, Bhava Prakasha and Bhaishajya Ratnavali. Each one of them gives us profound insights into how to keep the human faculties of body, mind and soul free of diseases and full of potency, vibrance and health. In this channel, we will start exploring various concepts from these books, understanding each one of them in their original Sanskrit text. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sanskrit language has a vast treasure of invaluable wisdom in every field of life. Consider subscribing to the Sanskrit channel where we explore every piece of it in its original form. Like this video and share it across with your friends. See you in the next video. Namaskaram.